Okay, and now it's time to um, edit these individual components in the template and make it the way you want it to appear. I'm going to start actually with the home page because I want to show you how to use the banner images. So I'm here in pages, it comes up to the home page. Let's click edit. After we click edit, we get the rich content editor, the RCE. Now one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this window down some so I can see a little bit more real estate. All right, you can expand that RCE so that you see a little bit more of the page. Of course, if it says place your course title here, now that we're in editing mode, highlight it and put the name of the course. Template demonstration course. Okay. I like this image, but I'm thinking that I want something featuring a campus building. How am I going to do that? Well, first you click the image. It turns blue to let you know that it's selected. And then you go over here to the images uh, tab over to the right. Our template comes preloaded with a number of uh, fantastic images. Maybe I want to use this bells. And now the bells image is replaced. Okay, maybe uh, I like Burgess. I'm going to put Burgess in there. Um, so there are quite a few images here that you can use. Of course, being a music person, why not? This beautiful picture of Fellaini. Or uh, there's a Fincher. There's uh, one with Ken in it as a professor. So you can use that one. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Load more results. We got more results than that. 11, 12. We've got about 20 images, 18 images of students that you can use. So you might want to use that image. Um, students focused intently. And there's one for Tarpley also. So there's lots of different images you can use. I'm going to go ahead and use this Burgess. One that was on the top. Where'd it go? A mistake that I will commonly make is I'll choose an image and go, oh, no, wait. And then choose another one. Ah, but I wasn't, I hadn't selected this image. So instead of copying over it, it pasted it beneath it. It's real simple to fix. Click the image, hit delete. Okay. And now it's just a matter of looking through the template, seeing if the suggestions uh, fit, and editing it. So here's a short introductory welcome message. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Canvas and our Reinhardt template. Okay. In this course, we will be looking at, and you get the point. Okay. Uh, about this template, the template is designed to use a module based navigation layout, the sample content module. You probably want to. Just read through carefully and make sure you're not getting instructions to the professor on how to use the template rather than information you want to give out to your students. Now, this quick access bar, uh, again, if students click on course announcements, that will shoot them over to the announcements page. If they click on course Q&A, that will shoot them over to the discussion. Course resources, shoot them over to resources. And learning module will simply put them over into the modules area. Maybe you don't want all of those buttons. Maybe you, you don't have, uh, you don't, you weren't planning on using a course Q&A. You can simply click the image and delete it. I will undo that. Maybe you don't know that it makes sense to have a, a, a link to the modules. It kind of does, but perhaps your home page is set up to go straight to the modules. Okay, in which case you're not even going to use this home page. So you can customize this if you wanted to. You can add another icon again. Go to the um, images button and maybe add, and these will be the smaller black icons. 
maybe add, let's try this. Okay, that's a bit big. Arts and humanities, we love them. Okay, we'll get them about the same size. But if you wanted to, you could add that button like that and then make it a uh, li clickable link. You would put your mouse into the picture, go over here to link to URL, um, and what you would do is then find Reinhardt Arts and Humanities. Get the link for it. Copy. Go back here. Paste that link. Update link. And now whenever the students click on that, it will shoot them over to reinhardt.edu, School of Arts and Humanities. Pretty slick, huh? So that is editing the home page. When you're done, of course, don't forget to save. In your modules now, remember we stubbed in those placeholder names. Uh, so here we are in module one, overview and to-do list. It's just as easy as clicking on the name of the page you want to edit and then clicking edit. All right. So in this module, we will be going over wing shapes and propeller shapes that create lift. If you're an avionics specialist, I'm just making this up. Don't think I'm, I know what I'm talking about. And then of course, instead of the lorem ipsum, you would want to put some information. Did you know that when Orville and Wilbur looked for propeller blades that would work in air, they researched naval, etc. Okay, and a to-do list. Now, here's something that's pretty slick. Uh, see this discuss? Join your classmates in a group discussion regarding, instead of that, you could actually link to the discussion. You would do that over here, there's links. Go to the discussion. And I know we have that module one lift discussion. Let's click it. All right, so there's a way that they can go directly to that discussion if you want them to. Same thing with demonstrate. You could add a link to that module one assignment. Let's see, module one lift quiz, sketch the wing profiles assignment. And, uh, you know, since this is a numbered list, you can enter items in the middle of it. We'll do this, watch. We will bold face it to make it similar unbold face and we'll go to our pages again this is where naming your pages consistently really helps um, propeller design and wing shapes see I didn't put the module name in there I just left it as presentation I think if I would put the module name in there that would have been easier to find because I would know that it's all part of module one. Another reason why you really want to make uh, some good decisions about your, it didn't come in here. All right, let's try that again. had to space out of it yeah there we go okay so that is editing the module an overview save it now if you're sure that it's done you might want to pick save and publish 
Now here's another fun uh, feature. If you just want to work sequentially in the module, going through and editing each page, you don't have to go back to module, scroll, and find it. You can just go to next, and it should kick you to the next page in that module, um, pretty sure. So then you could click edit, introduction, the shape of a wing creates lift. Um, the classic lift shape is a teardrop with the upper surface longer than the lower surface, right? Uh, let's get rid of this video. Now, if you click on the video like you would if it were a picture, this. What happens is it starts playing. So to get rid of a video, you have to put your cursor behind it and then backspace. Well, come on now. Okay. And then put your cursor in the empty area where you want your video to show. Let's look at YouTube. How wings create lift okay embed that and edit your main points and your supporting points again if you're sure it's like the way you want it you might want to click save and publish it will save you a teeny tiny step later on save and we could go to the next page etc etc okay now when it comes to the assignments all right, here's my principles of lift copy. That was the, again, I should have gone in and renamed it right away to my other modules. I just didn't. When it comes to these assignments, so the discussion, maybe we want to make this a graded discussion. Put in your prompt. Oh, I have to click edit. See, we all make little mistakes. Little teeny tiny ones. So, discuss other novel shapes that might create lift. Oh, no, I got a better one. Discuss the problem of turbulence and lift and the impact on wing design. I probably don't need this link here. I'll get rid of it. Put your additional instructions here. All right, guidelines, uh, discussions, should be spelled correctly, will be graded as follows. Put in yours. Um, you might want to consider putting in etiquette rules. Now, if you're going to have the same guidelines and the same technical support, go ahead and put those guidelines in in your first discussion before you start duplicating your modules, and then that language will already be there. All right, I've decided this is going to be a graded discussion worth 100 points. Uh, I want the users to post before seeing reply. So this is where you would give all of the specific details for um, your discussion, just like you would if you were setting it up from scratch and not from the template. Go ahead and save. Same thing with the assignment. You go back into that module, find the assignment. Before I do, let me give you one more quick helpful tip. It's frustrating to me to have to scroll so far every time when I know I'm editing module one. Here's a little hint. Move that module to the top. It doesn't have to stay there. It can just be there while you're editing. 
so it's easy for you to edit. It's not published, the students won't see it. So after you finish it, then you can move it back into its place in the sequence of modules. This makes it a little bit easier for you to get to it. All right, uh, module one, profile. So again, the assignment, uh, these are the prompts here, guidelines for what the student submission should look like, perhaps a grading sample. Uh, you can edit it. You need to edit it so that you can choose what kind it is. We don't want text entry. This will be a file upload worth 100 points. Give it a due date. Save it. And then if you wanted to, you could attach a rubric to it. I'll just attach this silly little rubric. Let's see. I'll name it wing sketch rubric add another criterion new one i'll call it item two this will be a worth 50 points this will be worth 50 points so it's all or nothing and i'm going to use this rubric for grading create the rubric there we go and now it's done okay that's kind of all you need to know except there are some watch outs that I'm going to show you in just a little bit in the next video things to remember to watch for uh, that you're going to have to clean up afterwards so they don't uh, mess up your grade book or confuse the student so come back we'll look at some common watch outs pitfalls with using this template